How did you guys come together, <laughs> come to be? Well, I was working in London in a, in a, in a bar, you know, cleaning up. Um, the bar was above this very well-known rock and roll club called the Marquee Club. And the bar was frequented by, uh, you know, the alumni of that time. It was like uh, Pete Townsend, Keith Emerson, you know, Jimi Hendrix would pop in. People would just wander in and I'd be cleaning the glasses and serving beer and <laughs> stuff like that. Anyway, I went to uh, the, the, this bar to tidy up about five in the afternoon one time. And the guy who owned the, the bar said, there's a guy at the end of the bar called Chris Squire. He's a good bass player. Maybe you two could uh, find a common ground, you know? He's looking for a singer, I think. And I said, OK. So I went over and said, hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. How are you? Very, very tall guy. <laughs> And uh, we started talking about uh, music, and we had actually the main people we liked was uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Paul Simon's songwriting was amazing, right. you know, at that time. It still is, you know. It's like, okay, well, we had a common thread of uh, musical ideas. So I went back to his apartment. We wrote a couple of songs, and he had a band called Mabel Greer's Toy Shop. So I went to rehearse with them. Uh, the drummer left the week after, and so we got Bill Bruford uh, out of the local music newspaper. He was advertising himself as a drummer looking for a band, so he joined. And then we got uh, Tony Kay on keyboards. And then I said to Chris, we've got to change the name of the band. Mabel Greer's Toy Shop, he's just so, <laughs> he's too long, you know? So we, we, we put some names in a hat, and. Uh, I think it was Peter Banks, the guitarist, he, he put in yes. I put in life, and uh, Chris put in world. And we all looked at him and said, yes. That's pretty cool. Very 